Hey guys, it's Jim from Nomadic Pursuits and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how I created this sort of moody and dramatic waterfall photo uh, from a, a 3 exposure HDR. So that's the end result. Let me show you how we got there. Let's get started. Okay, here's the base photo. Uh, this is a waterfall shot uh, taken here in Austin. It's a 3 exposure HDR as you can see in the upper left corner. Uh, all shot on a tripod of course uh, at ISO 100. And it was uh, late in the afternoon, but still pretty bright out. So I shot at f22. I didn't have a filter, and I wanted to make sure I got at least one exposure uh, that was really long so I could get this nice sort of dreamy water, uh, sort of that silky water effect. So uh, that helped me do that. Uh, but here's the base uh, photo. The first thing I'm going to do is go apply a preset. And I'm going to start with Landscape Deep. Uh, but I don't want to apply it all the way. I'm going to go at about 50%. So let me take that down. I'm going to apply that. And uh, the thing is, is, I don't want to apply it to the whole photo. So I'm going to just go paint it in just to the rocks. So I want that 100% opacity. I'm going to take that down. And let me just go paint that preset in to the rocks. Uh, I don't want to mess with the water because I'm going to do something different with the water that I'll show you in a minute. And uh, the truth is, this preset, while I think it looks good on rocks, it doesn't look good on water. Um, it's uh, it's too uh, it's got too much detail uh, for me in terms of uh, water. I like my water to be silky smooth, and uh, that's what we're going to do with it. So I've now masked that in, so you can see where we started. That preset has been applied just to the rocks, and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another preset, and this is going to be the Sleepy Forest preset, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mask it in just to the rocks. So I'm going to take the mask from this layer and say copy and then I'm gonna say mask here and I'm gonna say paste so there we go then I'm gonna go grab my sleepy forest I believe that's in the dramatic category yeah here it is alright so I'm gonna apply that it's gonna go uh, just to the rocks because I've uh, copied the same mask over from the uh, from the base layer so there it is and I, I like that look here's here's where we were and there's where we are. It's a little intense, so I'm going to take it down just a tiny bit. And uh, I think that looks good. So one other thing I may do is go into the color filter, uh, which is right here. I'm going to take the saturation on the yellows down a little bit and the luminance. It's a little too bright and a little too yellow. So I like that better. So there's the before, there's the after. And now one other thing I think I will do to the rocks, and I'll just call this rocks. Uh, once again, I'm going to copy that mask. So I'm going to say copy mask, and I'm going to say paste mask. There we go. Is I'm going to give it a little bit of clarity and a little bit of HDR look. Uh, so that did brighten up that background. So I'm going to erase that. I'm going to, oops, a little too small. I just use my left and right bracket key. Uh, or you can drag the uh, slider here for size, but you can use left or right bracket key to uh, to change the size of that. I'm going to take it out of this area because I like this being a little bit darker. adds a little bit more moodiness to it. So you can see where I uh, masked it out of there. And everything else, uh, the mask that we started with, applied all up in here too. In fact, I'm going to get a little bit there that I missed. Uh, but the rest of the mask is still intact over the rocks. So I'm pretty much done with the rocks. Now I'm going to go work on the water. So I'll create a new layer, call this water. And what I want to do is I'm going to take the opposite of the rocks mask, right? So I'm going to say copy mask, and I'm going to come to this layer, and I'm going to paste the mask. There we go, but I want to invert it, so invert mask. All right, so now the mask is going to apply only to the water. And I'm going to add a preset there. So let's go to presets. And I'm going to go get a dreamy preset out of the realistic category. I like this one a lot. It, it's, uh, there, that's it right there. So I'm going to say apply. Now it's just going to apply to the, uh, to the water. So hold on a second while that uh, populates. And then I'm going to probably change the uh, opacity a little bit. Take that down a tiny bit. It's a little bit bright. So if I take it all the way down, I have basically what the last layer left me with. I'm going to move it up. It gives a little bit more moody and dreamy effect. I like that. So let's call that at about 70%. But I'm also going to do a little bit with the color. I'm going to take the temperature down a little bit. I want to make it a little cooler. 
in the water, so that makes it a little bit more blue. And the other thing is, I really like the smooth water. Um, I shot this at ISO 100 with a full frame Sony camera, so there's really not any noise, but I like to go into denoise anyway, and because I'm just affecting the water, I'm gonna go in here and take the denoise up and smooth up a little bit, and that's just gonna affect the water. So let me show you before and after just with the noise changes. So there's before, it's very subtle. If you look down in here, you can see a little bit of texture in the water. And now when I put that, uh, you know, reapply that, it's gone away. And over here, really smooth and silky. I like that. It's kind of that dreamy, sort of mystical effect. Um, and that's what I was going for. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is go into the color filter. And I might just bump up the blues just a tiny bit. Give it a little bit more of that sort of mystical kind of blue feel. Uh, and maybe take the set, uh, excuse me, the luminance down a little bit on the blue, darken it just a little bit. So I like where we are there. Let me show you. There's the before, and there's the after for that layer. And that really covers that. I might just do one more thing, and that is I'm gonna uh, go realistic, dreamy one more time. But uh, that preset I'm gonna do on the entire photo. So let's see how that looks, just while we're experimenting here and uh, see, if, see if we like it or not. I think it, uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Again, I'm going for kind of the mystical, sort of moody effect, and just want to give the photo some, some punch. So that's probably a little too much, even at 70%. Now that is applying to the entire photo, because I did not copy any of my mass over. I think I'll take that down just a little bit. Uh, it's a little strong to my taste. So let me see. There's the before, there's the after. I kind of like that. Um, so I'm really about done. The only thing I have left, however, is I've got this hose. And if you use MacFun products, you will know that you can, uh, if you're using MacFun, or excuse me, Aurora as standalone, you can go to this arrow up here where you save and share, and you can export the image to save it, but you can also take it to their other apps. So I'm gonna open this up in uh, Snapheel. If you haven't used Snapheel, it's a great product. It allows you to easily and quickly remove unwanted items uh, from photos. That's that's what it's for. It's basically a healing brush uh, or a cloning brush. And you can do some other things with it, but I use it for, for that sort of thing. So uh, it does take a moment. As you can see, it's gonna take it a moment to get over here. And uh, once it gets into Snap Heal, we will uh, we'll get busy. Uh, so give it just a minute here. Uh, all right, should be about ready. Come on, my computer's... Uh, probably needs to take a nap. Maybe I need to get a new computer. It's a little bit old, but it's, uh, it's generally working pretty well for me. So hang on, gosh, taking longer than I thought. Maybe I should pause the video, edit this out, you think? Uh, okay, I think we're about there. Well, I really did think we were about there. Apparently we're not. So let me, uh, let me entertain you with some witty banter. How about that? Um, this, uh, this waterfall, um, Real close to my house, as I said, in the spring, which is now here in Austin, Texas, we're getting a lot of rain. Uh, this is kind of a secret spot. I, before I got here and started shooting, I'd actually never seen any photos online from this location. So I was pretty excited when I found it. It's, uh, I like to go out and explore and see new stuff, and I felt like I was the one discovering uh, this for the first time. I'm sure I wasn't, uh, but I hadn't seen any other photos of it. So, okay. Finally get over here. As you can see, it's a big file, uh, 144 meg. Uh, this is a monster. Uh, but this is the the, um, the landing page, if you will, or the screen for uh, Snap Heal. And just like in Aurora, you can take the right or left bracket key to increase or decrease the size of the brush. And then all you do is you just come and paint on top of the photo whatever it is you want to erase. So I want to get rid of that, and I want to get rid of that. And you can just come over here and click Erase. Uh, you can say global. I usually do local, and you can do high, highest, or you can do norm. This is the precision, so it tells you, you know, how precise do you want to be. Uh, I'm going to say high. I, I might normally do highest, but since I'm recording a video, this takes a minute, and uh, I've already spent enough of your time. So you just hit erase. It starts cranking out um, its magic, and it gives you a little bit of fun facts at the same time. If you look here, there's the before. There's the after. I mean, you're really done, right? One more time. There's before. There's after. I might would fix a little bit of this right here and a tiny bit of that right there. And I might try highest and try that again just to clean that up. Again, you'll, you'll learn some fun facts. You can quote these at a party with your friends. 
uh, post them on Facebook or something. Um, makes you look smart, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a great thing to entertain you, I guess, while you're waiting for the magic to happen. So, And as it says here, clearly it is doing magic. I like magic. Magic is good. So uh, this, is, uh, this is coming along. It also gives you the percentage into care. So we're just about done. We're getting there. And there's a few other small things that I might would go erase. Uh, the reason this takes longer is if you look over here, I was on highest, not high. And that's because the first time I did it, I felt like it maybe needed a little bit more. Um, but uh, come on, it's moving a little slow. But uh, the cool thing is, is it's be being very precise because I've got it on local and I've got it on highest. So it's it's being very precise. I think the end result's going to look really good. Um, when we get there, hey, 100%, look at that. Very exciting. Should be uh, popping open here. And boom, come here, come on. Almost there. I gotta find things to talk about. Okay, so if you look at the before and you look at the after, I think that looks quite good. I actually would come in and maybe take this stone out and maybe take that stone out. I'm just gonna do high, just to show you how, uh, how quickly it can work when you're not doing the precision mode. There you go. So there's that and gone, right? So if you look over here, uh, I think that looks quite good. Over here it looks good and those rocks are gone. Uh, one more little stick I see in the background that's kind of in my way. I'm gonna hit a race. It's pretty quick when it's something small like that and it's on high. It's the highest mode that takes a lot of time. And there you go. I mean, you have a dramatically altered photo and uh, I'm done. So that was multiple layers. Uh, selective application of presets and then a little uh, visit over here to snap heal and you're done so that's maybe what 10 or 15 minutes of time and uh, you have a uh, an interesting fun dramatic waterfall photo to go show your friends that's it thanks for tuning in I appreciate it let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll see you next time bye